Well, I thought I'd put a short little video up for my subscribers on something I'm working on that is kind of interesting. As you can see, I've got my motorcycle static balancer here in the living room, and I am balancing the pressure plate and the flywheel for the Toyota pickup, which is, I'm still working on a Toyota pickup. It's out in the garage. Uh, transmission's back together, and uh, so I'm working on getting the clutch uh, on back onto the motor. But because this turns, you know, four, five, six thousand RPMs, uh, it's important that it's balanced. Uh, when I was young and I used to build motors, you know, I, I would send my crankshafts away to a company to have them balanced. And I always wonder, how the heck do they do that, you know? And then they would come back and they had drilled little holes and got it all balanced. Um, it was when I was, you know, 19 or uh, so, it was all a mystery to me. But anyways, I thought, well, heck, I'll just check the balance on my LC Engineering uh, flywheel. This is the one I detailed in a previous video and the uh, Ison uh, pressure plate. So I, so just to cover kind of what I did, um, I started by checking the balance on the flywheel by itself. And you can see I, I marked a T where it liked to, uh, you know, this is the light spot. The flywheel itself was out of balance by approximately 36 grams uh, a little over an ounce, or I guess around an ounce and a half. On a 35-pound flywheel, that's that's probably not too bad. Um, I like to balance stuff pretty accurately. On the pressure plate, it was also out of balance. And you see I put a little mark there for the light spot. So then what I've done here, obviously, is I've matched the heavy spot of the pressure plate against the light spot of the flywheel. And it hasn't totally counteracted the, the uh, out of balance condition, but it's certainly improved it dramatically. You can see if I, I leave it here, it doesn't rotate back quite as fast as it, as it was doing before. So these uh, static wheel balancers come in terrifically handy. Uh, this is the same one that I used when I balanced the uh, tire, the wheels and tires on the 458 Italia, which helped me get out uh, an odd vibration I had. But you, you can see, while the static balance is not perfect on this assembly, it's, it's very close and it's going to prevent me from having to drill into the flywheel um, to get it to be balanced. So for the sake of the Toyota pickup, uh, it should be, should be more than enough, but you can kind of see how it responds. So I thought I'd just put this online for anyone who's kind of interested in how things were going with the pickup truck or who might be one to do their own balancing. So you can see it's off a little bit. I'm thinking what I might do to try to further balance it is change one of these steel uh, bolts that hold the pressure plate on to a titanium one, which will drop a little bit of mass off the, um, the whole thing here without sacrificing any strength. And you can see the pressure plate is you know, secured with pins. Uh, the, the bolts just kind of keep everything together so anyways uh, that's where things are with, as far as getting the toy pickup back on the road and like I said I thought people might find it kind of interesting how you can do your own uh, balancing on some of these parts okay thanks for watching